Okay, so we want to save a bunch of money with coupons, but we want to make it quick. So this is how we do it. We use two websites, The Crazy Coupon Lady and Money Saving Mom. But I'll talk to you first about Crazy Coupon Lady. And this is the website. Here's your homepage. And there's lots of stuff here. But because, again, we're trying to save time, we tend to just go to Find My Store. And you can see there's national drug stores here, the national super centers like Target and Walmart. And then also down here, there's some other grocery stores as well. Um, a lot of these I can't use. Um, Kroger I could, but you also have to be careful about the region because she tends to use one particular region and Kroger has different ads for every region that they're in. So sometimes I can use these sales, sometimes I can't. But um, Kmart, Target, Walmart, all these kind of things I, I use crazy coupon lady for. So let's click on target. And what I would do is just come through here and check out all the different deals that she lists here. And I'll click on read more so we can see the full list. There's two things I'm looking for. The first thing is which item um, is in bold here. And I'm going to look for items that I'm, I already use. I shop for a lot or something that I'm you know craving that week. Um, something like that I'm going to just kind of quickly scan through and see if, you know, if I'm trying to stop smoking, Nicorette gum is going to stick out real, real big. And so I might check out the deal there. Um, or if I like bird's eye frozen vegetables, I'll check out the deal there. But for the most part, what I'm looking for is this yellow symbol here. And what that is just means to stockpile. And again, she's dealing mainly with like extreme couponers and stuff who are going to take that deal and they're going to stockpile a bunch of this Clorox Green Works cleaners. But what that symbolizes to me is that that's one of the best deals at uh, Target this week. So I see that and I know it's a good deal. So I stop and just check it out if it's something I like. If I'm going to use, um, you know, cleaners, household cleaners around the house and I think 49 cents is a pretty good deal, then I'll probably go ahead and do this. If I'm going to, here's what I have to do. It says use one of these coupons or one of these coupons or one of these coupons and use one of these or one of these. So it's basically saying you're going to stack two coupons and you can pick one of these three and then pick one of these two and you're going to put them together. And the total price is going to be 49 cents. If there's a link, that means it's an online coupon and you're going to have to click on that link and follow the directions to get the coupon. If it's a Facebook one, you're probably just going to have to like the page and then you can print off a coupon. Sometimes you can print off two. So always try to print off a second one. Um, sometimes it'll tell you, no, you can't. You can only have one, but a lot of times you can print off two. Um, if it's not a, a link, that means it's in an insert somewhere. And so in this case, you have a green work, let's see, 50 cent coupon off of one product from the SS415, which just means the smart source insert on April 15th. So the April 15th paper is going to have a smart source insert and you're going to look in that insert and you're going to find the coupon. There's SS for smart source, there's RP for red plum, and there's PG for Procter & Gamble. Those are the three main inserts that you're going to find. And it's just going to indicate which insert to look in and then you're going to go find the coupon. And that's why I say don't cut the coupons out, just organize the inserts by date so that you can go Take a look at the April 15th smart source insert as soon as you see uh, the directions here and cut that one out instead of cutting all of them out. So if we want that, we can follow directions and get it. Otherwise, there's lots of other stuff. There's General Mills, General Mills Cheerios, normally $2.50, uh, buck fifteen each when you buy two. And you can tell that symbol is a little different because it's not quite as good of a deal. So there's, I guess, fewer cans or whatever those are as far as stockpile. But there's lots of different things here. Granola bars for 74 cents. Um, blah, blah, blah. If it's crossed out, it means we got there too late. So we can no longer get Madman TV series on DVD for 550 dollars each. Uh, because it's no longer available to print. And it's probably because we got there too late. It's, I'm recording this on a Thursday. You generally want to look at these on like a Sunday or Monday or you know soon after they come out. So after all of these great deals... There's also some individual deals that probably aren't up in this section. So I'll just come down here and you can see which date that they're posted on and check out to see if there's any other deals that I want. Um, so maybe, 
maybe 50 cent each for pasta and sauce. And then you read more and I'll tell you exactly how to do that. So that's how we do the crazy coupon lady. Um, there's lots of stuff, lots of other things that you can do, but that's just in order to save time, we stick to just the stores themselves that we're going to normally use. So have fun exploring.